my beautiful ladies how are you guys doing i hope you all look good in keeping warm in this winter um today i hmm, i'm actually super excited about today's topic um so without wasting any time let's just get right into the video yeah so first of all i want to say if you are a single mom watching this video i want to tell you that you are doing an amazing job in raising those children or your baby i know that it's not an easy job to raise children alone um you know parenting is one of the hardest hardest unpaying job that <laughs> anyone will ever do you know it's a 24 7 job it's not a job whereby you can say that no you know what i'm going on vacation for about a month you know i'm gonna come back after a month no day and night you are a parent you know you are needed by that little human that you brought in this world so you are doing an amazing job in raising your baby mommy i know it's not easy but you are here um, making sure that your baby is well taken off emotionally, physically, and financially. You know, so first of all, I want to say thank you for doing that. Okay, so now, um, let me share the tips with you guys what have been working for me in raising teenagers, especially now that they are teenagers, in raising my children, especially now that they are teenagers. To those who doesn't know, I have a 18 year old daughter and a 15 year old so the first tip that i'm gonna tell you guys is to never ever compare your children so you see i have two daughters they have uh, different personalities they've done they, they do things differently you know with asanda asanda is more resolved reserved um, and uh, she, she's she's an introvert. She likes to be indoors and, you know, uh, watching movies and sleep when she's, she is bored with movies, you know. On the other hand, Sharice is totally opposite. She's extroverted. She likes to be out. She likes to be seen. She's bubbly. She loves to go out. She loves uh, to be around people, you know. Um, so you see now, they're so different, so I, I, I can't compare them. I can't say, why are you always being indoors? You should be like your sister. Why are you, you know? So first, first, first thing first, don't ever, ever compare your children. That, that goes to uh, academics as well, you know. If the other one in grade 8, uh, she, 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 she got straight A's, it doesn't mean that the second one will get the the grade a, uh, the, um, the straight A's. So don't as a parent, don't ever 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 even when you are talking to them and say, but this person is better than you. Um, on her report card, she got only A's, and you you coming with B, or you coming with C. In this family, we're only getting A's. We don't get C. You know, uh, while I was in school, I was getting all straight A's, and you see your sister's getting straight A's, and when now you coming getting all f's no don't ever do that rather um rather talk to your talk to your baby nicely encourage your baby help your baby with academics where she's lacking or or maybe try and and find the tutor that can help you know or maybe get your baby to do an extra classes for that you know instead of you bashing her and comparing her okay now we're gonna move to my tip number two all right tip number two is to be very very patient with your children especially teenagers we need to understand we we, we were once we were once teenagers ourselves so now you're going to understand what was happening in your life that time when you were a teenager you know so we really have to be patient with them we need to understand that they're going to make mistakes 
um, your duty as a parent is to there to guide them. We should let them make their mistakes and learn from them. We mustn't, um, you, you know, sometimes I, I know that you can tell them, don't do this because this is what's going to happen. Don't, but sometimes just let them, just, just let them make mistakes. Just let them fall. They're going to stand up and dust themselves and, and, move, and, and move forward, you know. Then they will know that, oh, if you do like this, this is what happens, you know. So let's just be patient. Let's just be patient with them. That's number two. You're going to move to point number three. I will say that be your daughter's friend. Be your daughter's close friend. Remember, at this time, there's a lot of things that's going on in her life. Uh, first of all, there's uh, changes in her body. You know, uh, she might have stuff that she wants to, to ask you or talk to you about. But if you're too strict or, you know, too uptight, you, you, you don't want her to, to talk to you. Like, you're too strict. You, she's, she's scared of you, you know. So she won't come to you even if she's in danger or something happening. She won't come to you because the first thing that she will think, oh, my God, if I tell my mom... I'll be in trouble or you understand make her feel so comfortable so that she can come to you and talk to you and ask you a question and have a, a proper conversation and you, you know without being scared of being shouted at or being judged you know M make her feel very comfortable when she's with you Alrighty, I'm gonna move to point number four be very understanding be very, very understanding. Understand that they are growing. They're going to make mistakes. You're going to tell them, don't do A, B, and C. And they're going to go against your will or your word and go do the B. Because they want to they wanna see what's going to happen. You know? <laughs> they, you will tell them, don't, don't go near the stove because you're going to get bent. The, the child will go there and touch the stuff because they want to see what's going to happen. Oh, okay, cool. You know, it's a learning curve. That's how they learn, you know. So be very understanding. Know that they're going to make mistakes. You are there to help them, to guide them, to discipline them with love. When I say discipline, then I'm not talking about the spanking and all that. I'm talking about other kind of discipline that, that you can maybe take the cell phone away. Maybe, you know, those kind of discipline. So, yeah, I'm not going to go in deep in, deeper into that because we have different beliefs and we have different parenting. So we use different discipline methods. So, yes, but let's move to another point. Okay, this is point number five. Hmm. This is, I, I, I found this point the hardest one for me, you know, um, which the point is um, teach your children about the dangers of social media, the Facebook, the Instagram, all that, you name, you name them. Teach your children the good and the bad of the social medias i don't know i don't know it, you know it's up to your parents some other parents allow their children as as young as 10 years to have facebook or to have instagram in my house no no child will have instagram and facebook and this and that and that when you're under 18. but just because um they don't have um they don't have those accounts doesn't mean that i don't teach them about about the dangers of the the social media because at the end of the day we you, we know children are children they can go behind your back and create the the account without you knowing and then you're going to find out after a year that your your, your child is in is on facebook or is in, on instagram if you know what i mean so be very, very open when it's come to social media. Tell them, let them know. And please tell them about not posting 
their pictures, they are whereabouts, they are logins, they are check-ins on social media. That's very important. You know, for, for their own safety, teach them to not post those things, to not, you know, you know, that's the one. You know, being a parent is so scary. It's so, so, so scary sometimes. Like, I get so scared when I see a 12-year-old doing all these poses, wearing whatever she's wearing in so on social media, when we know very well there's older men that prey on these young girls, you know. So please make sure that you educate your children um, about social media. Um, I'm going to share the last tip, which I'm very excited about. Um, it's about the cell phones. Um, remember, I'm sharing about, about what works for me and the tips that works for me. Yeah, um, uh, you may not um, agree with some of the points that I've made. Please take what can work for you and leave what cannot. Yes. So, okay, my last tip is, um, it's about the cell phones, teenagers and cell phones. I don't know. Other people, they, will, they, they might say that um, it's, uh, it's private, it's their privacy, cell phone is, personal is for personal use and all that but i will say when you find a chance go inside your your, your teenager's cell phone go there on whatsapp and see what's happening check who who sh who is she talking to talking about what you know just randomly just don't tell her that i'm gonna check R randomly check who is your baby girl talking to? Check some of the charts between, excuse me. Check some of the charts between her and her best friend and check what they're talking about. You know, when you do that, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to find about your little girl, how she thinks, what she, what she do. You might even be surprised some of the stuff that she doesn't or some of the things that she talks about with her friends maybe stuff that you didn't even know that she knows about or how she talks to boys or how she talks to girls you know all that it as a parent is very important you know because i remember there's this um other lady that i know she went through her her, her daughter's phone without her knowing meanwhile the baby was going to meet this older men the next day this you know older men the next day without her mother knowing they were going to meet somewhere you know not far from home and they were going to go somewhere like in the mall or something so it's very important to know what's happening who is she talking to and what is the conversation about I'm not saying that monitor her each and every five minutes you go on your own phone and, and check everything. No. You need to let her know that you trust her enough. You know that she's doing the right thing. She's talking to the good people. Wara wara. But still, yebu. Niti still. Take time. Maybe once a month or twice a month or I don't know, three times a month. Just take the cell phone and check. I know. Other mummies, they allow their children to have um what you call the password on their cell phone for what they are babies what exactly are they hiding what why are you having password for i don't know anyway it's good thank you so much my beautiful ladies for watching and thank you so much for raising those beautiful children to be an awesome independent individuals thank you guys Please, please do not forget to give this video a, a thumbs up and please share it with other people. Thanks. Bye.